Hi guys, and welcome back to Roaring Tides. If you've been watching the previous videos, and you already know I'm Vicky. Last weekend, my cat Shadow started having trouble breathing and couldn't get around very well. As you know, she, was a re she regularly, well, semi-regularly appeared in the videos. Anyway, the well, last Monday we took her to the vet and after she was checked out we found out she either had heart disease or cancer. Either way, she only had a day or two left to live, so. I made the painful decision to agree to put her to sleep. Well, two days ago I made and posted a memorial video for her. I will link that down below in the description. Well, today I'm going to continue the keeping her memory alive by sharing with you some memories that didn't get filmed. First of all, the spray bottle, <laughs> which is this here. Whoops, there we go. Uh, I don't believe in smacking animals anymore. That was her, her punishment bottle, but she always took it as a welcome game. It's where she learned to dodge and all that, which I found cute. Uh, usually she would pick this up. Usually, if she was at the door here, she'd be underneath my desk there, or the tray there, around my shoes. As you can see, they're on the floor. She'd be under there laying on my shoes, or, and if I needed that space to put my feet, she would actually, she would actually jump up. She only let me spray her a couple times before she took off. Anyway, uh, She'd jump up to her paws and take off out the door. Or if she was over by the window over this side and I wanted her to move for some reason, I'd give her a quick spray and she'd take off. Usually out the door. But she always thought of it as a game. She never took it as a real punishment. So it never made her mad or anything. It was always a game to her. Typical cat move, I know. <laughs> Alright, uh, Flying Leap. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love this one. Uh, where we live, we live in a housing place, an apartment. Well, I'm upstairs right now in my office. So, this is gonna be pretty funny. All right, um, she used to be a high energy cat. She loved to run it up and, up and down the stairs. Well, one time she actually ran from our bedroom. I don't know how she did it either. She actually ran from our bedroom, took a flying leap down to the landing, which was hysterical. Without touching a step in between. It was like she was flying. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. And yes, she landed safely. Perfectly fine. All right, um, the next thing is, oh my goodness. Uh, she loved tuna. Anytime I got treats, they always had to be tuna flavored. 
and once in a while she get I get her a can of tuna I did check it out it was okay for her to have so she got that every once in a while it was the cutest thing and a few times if I get her wet food I get her a couple cans with tuna in so she'd have that too And oh my goodness, this next one, I still can't watch Pet Cemetery, which was her favorite movie. She loved watching church, that's why. I think she had a crush, a kitty crush. <laughs> but I think with time, I may get there. I don't know yet. I would actually put it on, we have it on DVD. I think I have both versions, both the original with Denise Crosby and Fred Gwynn, as well as the remake. She wasn't as into the remake as she was the original for some reason. I think it was because of being so different. Oh, she was a cuddler. If I lay down and take a nap, she cuddle with me. Same thing if I was going to bed, she'd have actually come into bed with me and she'd actually lay on my chest. It's the cutest thing. Sorry, I had to fi fix the camera there. Uh, she was, yeah, she was a cuddler. If I wanted her to get off, I'd maneuver her so she'd Get in between my husband and I. And, uh, like if I was fiddling on my phone watching videos or something, either on Facebook or YouTube, she'd either get on my shoulder or get on my back, which was also cute. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Anyway, uh, yeah, usually in the mo in the morning she'd climb into bed with us and demand to be fed. Well, first she'd want her morning cuddles, then if we didn't get up right away, she'd signal to us that she was hungry and it was time to get up to feed her. Or we'd give her some fresh water. I always have, I always had hard food ready for her all the time so she could get a snack or whatever. Plus every morning she'd have a can of wet food put out for her. And that can of wet food would be changed every single morning. She loved to nibble at her food through the day. So I always had to keep that food out and ready to go. Uh, let's see. There are other things that she would do also. Her crazy little meows. They were funny as all heck. Uh, If you've been around here before, you would know this. Sometimes, uh, in the middle of the night, she'd be looking for me. She seldom did a regular meow. It, was always, it always sounded like she was calling out, Mom, Mom. It was so funny. Cute, too. Unless you were regularly come around here, you wouldn't... Uh, You want to hear her. But she would constantly do that. Funniest thing. I 
And there's one thing I did not put on my list here. Uh, my girls la would laugh at this, the fact that I'm adding this, but one time uh, I was in the middle of giving Catherine, I think, a bath and Shadow actually jumped in the tub with her. <laughs> too hilarious. It's the cutest thing, too. Most cats dislike water well. Shadow is different. She didn't mind it as much. As long as it was on her terms. If it was on somebody else's, forget it. Then she'd put up a fight. <laughs> I'm doing my best not to focus on the last day with her, but... It, is, it has really been tough. I love that cat more than anything in this world. Except for my daughters. Uh, I know I did the right thing by signing the consent for her to be put to sleep, but that doesn't make the pain go away. I recently had someone tell me that I need to snap out of this. Well, it's not that easy whenever the animal becomes like a child to you. Which happens when you have a pet for a long time. And I've said this many times, I do appreciate all the love you guys have shown both here on YouTube and on Facebook, as well as everywhere else I've got messages from. Thank you guys so much. As most of you know, she was my support system for a long time. because uh, for a while, for a long time, I was suffering from depression. And Shadow was my safety net. She helped me get through those dark times and still was up until the day she passed. And just so you know, she was not a kitten. She was a she was in what they call her golden years. She was 15 years old. She was an elder cat. She was 10 years old when we got her fixed and declawed, so we had her a good five years longer. In September, she would have celebrated her sweet 16. So, she just missed her 16th by a few months, but I do want to take this time also to thank the vet and the team who was there for us whenever it came to that day, he was going to be her regular vet had she lived. I have my beer. And yes, I know tomorrow is Mother's Day, which is kind of surprising. I'm hoping at some point be able to get a cattle clone of her that looks like her, or at least find a 
Black Panther stuffed animal, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. If I ever get the money anyway. I may just wind up getting a black cat stuffed animal or something. I did see one that I liked. It's only $20. Anyway, um... Thank you guys for hanging in there through this video and now I'm not going to quit making videos. I think she'd want me to continue, so I'm going to continue. Anyway, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, subscribe, share this around. I think I'm going to mark the this one for safe for kids to watch so we'll see you guys in the next video see ya